Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst, Emmanuel Efeni. Good, Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Victoria Tundu, MQ Abiola. <laughs> Efeni, I hope you know that Tundu is preparing something big yes. with implications for tomorrow. <laughs> yes. You are aware? I don't want to spill the beans. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Now, we start a review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, amended electoral bill bars ministers, commissioners from contesting in primaries. Bill prescribes sanctions for erring parties, advises aggrieved potential aspirants to approach federal high court for relief. Says judicial pronouncement can't stop primary or general elections. Yes, the electoral amendment bill, um, now ready for the president's assent, I want to believe. There are a number of provisions. The one that bars ministers and commissioners from contesting, and even Commissioners and others from being automatic delegates to party conventions or congresses in the states, as the case may be. Now, these are some contentious, um, but again, if you look at why these provisions have been inserted, yes, the National Assembly, they've been also very concerned about the powers of governors, perhaps some of these provisions. For instance, when governors appoint so many advisors, aides, and at the end of the day, when it comes to state congress, they, are, they become automatic delegates. And you don't need uh, a soothsayer to tell you who they will vote for, who will give them the order where they should cast their vote. So this provision is meant to take care of that. And those who want to contest, you have to resign as a minister or as a commissioner if you want to contest. And if this provision is signed, if this bill is signed into law and this provision become operational, it means people like Rotimi and Meshi who has just uh, received uh, one title from uh, Daura, Right? And with many believers eyeing the presidential uh, seat, he has to resign to go and contest. And I don't think there's anything wrong in this provision, if you ask me. But also, the fact that aggrieved aspirants are advised to seek redress in the courts if they feel that their political parties are not complying with provisions of the Electoral Act. So, end of reign of impunity among political parties also, because this is something that happens very often where political parties sometimes, at the behest of whoever is calling the shot in the state, just uh, go ahead and impose candidates and want all to believe that that is the party's choice. But again, this provision, to stop, um, you approach the court. But there's also a very vital um, aspect that no court in the land should be able to stop party primaries or the general election. I think that would be a welcome development, Ruben. Well, I mean, there are many sides to it. We took it earlier, and um, we just think that we hope that the president will sign and that with regard to the electoral bill, we will not have a repeat of the situation that we had uh, ahead of the 2019 general elections. But clearly, there are many interest groups involved who will try to put pressure on the president. And I think that's why this day has put that particular story on its front page. But unfortunately, we don't have more time to look at all the issues that we would like to